Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How many icons do you have on your desktop? I'll give you a few minutes to do the calculations there. Probably a few, unless you have them hidden, in which case you can't see any icons. But you have icons on your computer, kind of a, a given. I mean, files and objects are represented by icons. And see, an icon isn't quite like a quote-unquote normal graphic because an icon can have multiple sizes or resolutions in the same file. This is what makes the icon look just as good when it's large as it does when it's smaller, so long as those sizes are included within that single icon file. Now, if you've always wanted to create an icon, uh, you can find various software out there. In fact, I was creating icons back in the day. And I mean, when I say back in the day, I'm talking like Windows 3.11 Windows for work groups back in the day. They had icon editors even back then. I still have those icons somewhere on my system. I wouldn't use them, uh, but I kept them for posterity. So there's a website that was submitted by Navid or Navid. Not exactly sure how I would say his name or her name. Uh, Sorry, not to offend either way. Uh, there's a website that will help you take any graphic, like a, a JPEG, for instance, and then turn it into an icon file. You could use this icon on Windows specifically uh, as a representation for a file or folder or whatever. You could also use it as a fave icon, which you would drag into the root directory of your web server, however you uh, have that configured that's usually how it works so it's convertIcon.com, and it's it's really not that difficult to use you press the get started button you you get this file dialog uh, let's go ahead and select the geeks logo i had it saved to the hard drive all right so there's the geeks logo i press the export button and this is where it gets interesting i can include different sizes for that icon so I can have it scale all the way down to 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, so on and so forth, all the way up to 512 by 512, or keeping the original size as well. Press Save As, and then it asks me where I want to save it. Save it there, and now if I zoom out again, I have got an icon file. And so I've clicked that single file. Again, this is one file. And since I exported it into different sizes, I've got all four of them included. There's the small one, smaller one, larger one, yada, yada, yada. Of course, I think the larger one's having an issue right now on Mac OS X, but it's still included in the file, and it works just as well because I can see it on my desktop. ConvertIcon.com. You could also uh, change a, a graphic format into ping if you wanted to. It's just as easy, even though ping isn't anywhere in the URL. ConvertIcon.com sub submitted by... Navid, 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 I don't know how to say this person's name, but I appreciate the support. My email address is chris at perillo.com. If you know of any other, you know, easy to use, simple, very functional tools to pass along, drop me a line. You're also welcome to join us in our community of geeks. That was the logo there, uh, geeks.perillo.com. Then we also have this chat room that is typically talking tech. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right here with this live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.